Hey everyone, welcome to this new video on Langchain, NNN, and Langsmith, and how it all works together. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the basics of Langchain and how it works inside of NNN, as well as how to connect up Langsmith and get some really good debug information and go deeper into all of your AI calls. So if you're ready to learn more, let's dive in. Okay, so let's dive right in and let's go over what exactly is Langchain, Langsmith, N8N, how do they all kind of connect together? All right, so let's start off with some theory first, okay? So uh, N8N, all right, on its own, N8N itself is an automation tool. And so what that means is basically this tool here, it gives us a visual way of connecting nodes together. Now, of course, a lot of you probably already know that, but the trouble is a lot of you think that it's an AI tool. Out of the box, it is not. It is literally a system that connects up different nodes and allows us to you know, automate between them all. Now, the challenge here is that right out of the box, uh, N8N is not you know, automatically connected to external services, such as if you wanted to access, let's say, uh, you know, Gmail or any of the Google stuff or LinkedIn or whatever that is. We need to use something called an API. An API, it comes from you know, these actual services it gives us access via a key that allows us to access these services within N8N. And so what has happened is either the company, uh, whether that's Google or uh, LinkedIn or whoever, um, or N8N, the team, decided to create a node for these external services. So Langchain is one of those nodes. And Langchain allows us to have access to AI capabilities. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys here, it's a platform. And why it's really, you know, powerful is the goal of Langchain is uh, to make it easy as possible for developers to build applications that reason or AI applications. Now, if we come to the Langchain website, you're going to see that there are three specific products. In fact, there's a little bit more, but just three that they generally mention here called Langchain, Langgraph and Langsmith. Now, Langgraph kind of gives us a visual representation of things, kind of like what we've got going on with N8N. But uh, Langchain is where we actually get all of that, you know, power to connect up with all the LLMs and the AIs and, and all that stuff that we're, you know, kind of used to inside of N8N. Uh, a lot of incredible stuff, but it's, it's very programming heavy. So, like, you need to know how to code. And Langchain comes in uh, two specific coding uh, types, which is Python and JavaScript. Now, inside of N8N, for the most part, it's going to be JavaScript. And the N8N team has been now creating some incredible nodes which are Langchain powered, and some of them are very custom inside of N8N. And we're gonna go over that, but specifically under the hood, it's Langchain. So now with a quick overview here, as you can see, you know, Langchain is where we're gonna code all the stuff and you know, all the AI items, but there's another thing in the ecosystem called Langsmith, which allows us to understand what's going on with all of those AI commands. So we're gonna be diving into that a little bit later inside of the you know, tutorial here, but when you understand that this here is actually an external type of service that, you know, is not the same as automation, all right? Now you're kind of understanding how, you know, N8N uses Langchain to get the AI stuff. And when we think about an AI agent, well, we think about some large language model that it's using, some memory that it's using, and some tools that it's going to use. And usually there's a main input here and a main output. And this looks a lot like the AI agent node. And that's exactly what it is. So the N8N team has created several different nodes here inside of the AI uh, ecosystem here. So you can see here, let's just get a chat trigger here so you can see this. So now if I click on this plus button here and I click on AI, you're going to see the AI agent. All right. So this here is your basic Langchain, you know, node here. But you're like, no, I call it an AI agent, right? This is all I use. And I, you know, I'm so used to this. You're used to using a Langchain node. That's what it is. So we're actually going to design this right now, and I'm going to show you how this works. So if I hit the plus button here, I click on AI. So I come all the way to the bottom here, and I click on uh, other AI nodes. Then I'm going to go down to the very bottom here. I'm going to click on miscellaneous. And then I'm going to see the Langchain code node. All right. And so just this node here on its own, it's just you know a, a JavaScript node. And so if I double click on this here, if I just gave it like a main input, all right, so let's uh, have the type input as main, and we'll just max connections one, sure, and then the output as main, 
and then I just click on add code for execute. This is JavaScript here. I've literally created the code node. So if I type in code, these two nodes are now the exact same at this current point. They both have an input and an output and they use JavaScript. All right, and I can actually go inside of here and that's what this is. So now it's a JavaScript node at this point. So now let's take it one step further. So now we see that they're both a code node at this point. Let's say I wanna now add in a little bit more and we wanna get some AI inside of this. So if I go to inputs here on my Langchain code node, I can actually select from the dropdown a large language model, which is something that we're used to. I'll make the max connections one. Uh, usually we have a memory. So once again, max connections one. And then from there, we usually have some tools. And I can leave that as minus one for now. Now, when I look at this, guess what? It looks exactly like the AI agent node. And that's exactly what this is, okay? So it is a very versatile node. It could be used as a code node. It could be used as an AI agent node. It can even be used as a sub agent node. And if you want to learn more, you can go into N8N's documentation and you could see all the various ways that the actual Langchain code node can be used. But in this tutorial, we're going to be actually focusing on the AI side of things. Now to show you that these are pretty much the exact same node, we're going to add a chat model and I'll do it from here. I'll add in a open AI chat model here and I'm going to keep this down here so you can see this. And I'm going to connect up the language model here so it's the exact same. All right, we won't have any memory on there. Right now, as you can see here, I've now connected both of these here. Uh, and in some cases, like if you're not getting the connection, sometimes just refreshing this uh, page will help. All right, so before running this, let's just make sure that inside of our Langchain code, we've got our execute command code here. So now we need to make sure that we tell it, you know, the actual information that's coming in. Uh, but we need to understand what is the data coming in from the other, you know, node. So first let's do a quick run. It's probably going to fail, but we need to get, you know, what is coming in from the chat message. So let's just type in hello here and hit enter. There we go. All right, perfect. It failed. That's fine. And it's a chat input that we actually need. So let's go inside of here now. And inside of our query, we're actually going to put in dollar sign input dot item dot JSON dot chat input because that was the name of the actual, uh, you know, um, item there. And as you can see, it's chat input. And let's go ahead and save that. And now let's give this a test. So let's say hello. And there we go. So now let's look at the output of both of these. So if I double click on AI agent, I see the output here is hello, how can I assist you today? Well, guess what? Inside of the Langchain output, we've actually got a lot more. So of course we got the similar hello, how can I assist you today? but we also have a lot more items such as how many tokens were used and uh, metadata and, and so much more. So, you know, that's the power here of the Langchain code node is that we get to see a little bit more and thus we can actually learn about our AI automations in a much more um, deeper way. So now that you understand that, you know, the AI agent node is actually a Langchain code node under the hood. So as you can see here, there's several different Langchain code nodes that have been pre-built with N8N. And so you've got your basic LLM chain, question and answer chain, a text classifier, a sentiment analysis chain, and uh, information extractor. And there's several other uh, Langchain nodes as well. And you could see inside of here, there's certain, you know, things that each one has based on the fact that, you know, they've been seeing what a lot of people have been doing with these AI nodes, and they've pretty much pre-built some of the most used types of, you know, AI uh, flows that are there, but made it really, really simple for us to kind of set these up. All right, so now that we've seen, you know, the Langchain code node and, you know, seeing that it's really um, what the AI agent node is that we're used to, uh, right under the hood, it's Langchain. There's another set of things that can be done, especially when we're trying to debug anything that's going on in the world of AI, uh, there's another tool within the Langchain ecosystem called LangSmith. So LangSmith is a tool that allows us to understand what's going on with our AI calls. It's a very, very powerful visual uh, type of system that allows us to take every call and kind of trace down and see what was happening. So if Langchain sends in, you know, an AI call into LangSmith, we can now go into deeper detail to understand what that call was. Um, one of the things that you need to know is that the Langsmith, uh, you know, portion here, what we're going to try and connect to, it requires environment variables and environment variables. We can only pretty much access right now via the self-hosted or VPS edition of N8N. 
So a VPS edition could be like DigitalOcean because we have to actually go into the Docker and you know actually set up the YAML file and actually add in certain environment variables. So you can only do that right now on the self-hosted system. So if you've got the community edition, uh, that's a great way to do this. So we're gonna follow through and get you set up with Langsmith right now. So let's start off right here and you go to the Langsmith website by visiting langchain.com and then clicking on products and then going to Langsmith in the platform section. And then after that, let's go ahead and let's click on sign up for free and then go ahead and start entering your information and sign up and get an account. Okay, so once you see this screen here, what we wanna do is we wanna actually set up a tracing project here. So on the left side, go ahead and click on tracing projects. Over here on the right side, click on new project. And over here, you're gonna see all this information. This is really important. So let's go ahead and click on generate API key. From here, we're going to be looking at these specific four items here. Langsmith Tracing, Langsmith Endpoint, Langsmith API Key, Langsmith Project. So I want you to copy all of these here, throw them into a notepad, because we're going to be using that for the next steps. So here I am in a notepad, and you can actually put this into anything. Uh, I'm going to just be removing all of the quotes from this. So just like that, go ahead and remove the quotes. So you get the endpoint, you got your API key here, just like that and then you've got your Langsmith project, just like that. Okay, so I removed all the quotes there. And once you do that, you're gonna be keeping uh, this here, uh, you know, on the side here, because we're gonna need this in the next step. Okay, so now I'm going into my DigitalOcean VPS. Uh, if you're using this on a local system, it's the same idea. We need to get to our Docker YAML file, all right? So I'm gonna open up a console window here, and now I'm gonna navigate to my N8N installation. So CD dot dot, CD OPT, CD N8N, Docker Caddy. And so now if I list the files here, you're gonna see a Docker Compose YAML file. We need to enter that. So let's type in nano and then docker compose-yaml or docker-compose.yaml and go ahead and enter. There we go. All right, and as we come on down here, you're gonna see that we've got an environment section inside of N8N. This is where we're gonna paste all that information that we just got from our Langsmith uh, installation. So here I have all the Langsmith information. So I'm just gonna copy that and then I'm gonna minimize this down. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste. All right. And now I have to actually, you know, position these. So I'm gonna hit space. I'm gonna put a dash. Then I'm gonna go down here, do it again. Spaces, dash, do it again, space dash, then space, dash. There we go. I've set up my four environment variables for Langsmith. Specifically though, inside of N8N, we have to change the name a little bit and we have to change it to Langchain Endpoint, Langchain Tracing V2, and Langchain API Key. This should say Langchain Tracing, so Langchain Tracing. I'm gonna set that to true. Uh, and Tracing underscore V2, so make sure you get the underscore V2 inside of there as well. So Langchain Tracing underscore V2, all right? And next it's gonna be the Langchain API key. So we go over here and we type in Langchain API key. And then of course Langsmith project can be like that, uh, or you could call it the Langchain project. Um, but right now I'm just gonna leave it as Langsmith project, that's fine. I'm gonna hit Control O, hit Enter, hit Control X. And now we're gonna do Docker Compose down. And now a docker compose up dash D. All right, and so now that we have that set up, uh, we go into our Langsmith and right now there's nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a test. Let's do this, hello world. Simple hello world app. All right, you see it takes a bit of time in the first one uh, and the second one was a little bit faster. So keep that in mind. Let's go into our Langsmith and there we go. And, and sometimes this takes about 30 seconds to a minute to show up. So keep that in mind when you're running these. But now watch this. Inside of Langsmith, I can just click on the actual call there. And you're going to see a breakdown here of, uh, you know, the actual tests here. So each one, because there was two different calls, if we go back to our N8N, each one of these here, this is a call and this is a call. So we got two of them. The first one took a lot longer than the other one. As you could see here, this is the first one here. And I can actually go inside of it and we can dig deeper. So... If I actually click on that, it's going to show me now what my AI was thinking. It tells me what AI I was using, uh, how it generated it, right? So I, you know, the human said, hello world, because that's what I put in. 
you actually see here on that run, here it is, hello world, all right? And then basically, you know, um, how many tokens it took, uh, the prompt tokens, the total tokens, uh, you know, uh, was 18 here. Um, and then you got your feedback, you got metadata, uh, so you could actually find out even more details about it. All right, so this is really great if you're trying to iron out, you know, what's going on with your LLMs and uh, specifically with all of your AI calls. Langsmith is an incredible tool for that. So there you go. You now have Langsmith interconnected with N8N and you understand that Langchain is underneath the hood of these N8N AI agents. You also set up Langsmith, giving you a little bit more control over how your AI agents work. So I definitely recommend also checking out Langchain's tutorials and how-to guides. You may even want to check out the language, uh, Langchain uh, expression language, also known as LCEL. And uh, there's a lot of neat things that you can do. So there you have it. Now you know a little bit more about Langchain, Langsmith, and N8N, and how they all kind of work together. So I hope you found this training useful today. If you did, please go ahead and join my school community. I love the support. Uh, there's a lot of other AI automators like yourself who are out there, who are learning and growing every single day. I truly believe that the greatest power of automation isn't just saving time and money, it's creating freedom. So until next time, keep on automating, keep innovating, and keep building the best life ever lived. I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.